Hello to the people viewing this video. This is my very first video I'm uploading on YouTube. And we are going to be playing a sustained or assassinate, however you want to pronounce it, potato potato campaign on Attila. Now normally I would give Shogun 2 the honor of being the first uh, game I play on my channel. However, my Shogun 2 is like broken. It keeps crashing whenever it launches and I can't find a fix for it. I've asked people about it. It doesn't work. So, I guess I'm going to do this grand campaign. And I really enjoy playing as the Burgundians, but I really need just a break from the northern tribes because I've, that's all I've been playing so far. So, I need a little variety. And so everyone playing as that. And these, they're pretty different. We need uh, to conquer these territories to win. Um, their cultural trait is Grand School, which is sanitation plus one for every province capital held, which is very, which will be very useful because uh, then we can build a lot more industrial buildings in Hall. Let me turn down my uh, sound real quick. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> and uh, their faction trait is King of Kings, which is income plus 200% tribute from puppet states, which is actually pretty incredible. Considering that I do know that these guys have a lot of puppet states from the start of the game, and puppet state levies plus three of each type of levy unit, which would be okay if someone big like the Huns were coming and we needed to summon an army quick. But other than that, it's not too useful. So let's get into this. Might take a little bit to load, so just sit back with me. Um, show me why I skipped to. This is gonna take a little bit. No background sound. And is it me or is it that? No. I'll let you guys watch this. The air was filled with smoke and blood. The Romans stole, the East reclaimed with vengeance. As Emperor Valerian discovered when his love of wealth was rewarded with molten gold. Rome was the city of lies. They insulted the desert, but never conquered Eastern lands, for they were weak and divided. Arrogance was punished. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The men of the East forged their spears in the fires of truth and purged the world of darkness. It was their duty. They made ready for war. They're a lot like they're pretty generic. Your dominion but, over the east is strong. I don't know how to play. <laughs> okay, so let's check out the seats we have first. Um, we got test phone, which is hopefully most people have heard of this before at least. Um, a couple of uh, of other minor towns. They got a uh, population surplus, so. 
Well, let's evaluate that and see which one to upgrade. Uh, any others? We got a small little town here. Um, we got some towns over here too. A lot of population surplus, so we should be booming with wealth. We already are, so hopefully we can recruit a lot of units because of this. Okay, let's get down to business now. Sorry that I have it on easy difficulty and that won't be that good. I'm not that... I'm young and I'm not that good at strategy. And although I spent a lot of time on it, I'm not perfect even though I spent a lot of time on it. Okay. Uh, shouldn't be good. Uh, usually go for this one first because this is actually pretty good one because we can replace as units to replace, which will help. Uh, what do we need? I say we need food. Yeah, food. That was one wheat field here. Alright, what's the military building here? Cause alright, this looks like a military building. Let's just check for better. Okay. So I'm getting military buildings because we don't have much military here. How may I serve Persia? And here we have uh, I have to set this place. Sorry. Uh stuff that there. Alright, here we have a plaza, which we can get more wealth. Public order plus seven. Public order minus one. Score. And we'll have to go to the courthouse. Uh. No. Distance really isn't religious influence. Um, I'm curling my hair again. Let's go to Camel Herd, gives us a lot of wealth. Uh, here's some undeveloped land. <coughs> yeah, we're out of money. And we can't demolish that. That was a mistake. I should have built my camps. Yeah. Well, I can get cataphracts, which are pretty good. Alright, now let's move on. To the political section where if you're good with bartering you can actually or if you're good with haggling and lying you can actually get a lot of money out of this so there's nothing we can really do here these guys no nothing 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 uh you greetings and friend let us use our question my honorable master would have me talk of gold a lump sum whatever <laughs> I mean, I can never turn down trade. Trade is good. I will do you so the we don't have a non-aggression pact with these guys. Hoping to hear Get some money off of this. Um, you present there. Uh, military access? No. Yeah, your goal for when you're in diplomacy, a good tip is to try to get them so that they'll pay for certain agreements, which is good. So usually what I'll do is I'll do non-aggression pact, military access, and then trade, and they'll really want trade, 
And so I'll usually get money out of that. I agree uh, to ask Biffitz your These guys I can't trade with. No. And I can't uh, get non aggression pack with them either. Lazica, no, it's a puppet state, so we can't do anything either. Uh, looks like we can't do much in diplomacy. We have a lot of satrapies and that stuff, but other than that, we don't have much. And there's probably nothing here. Let's just try to uh, lower our corruption rates and assign people to certain positions. Um, Alright. Looks like I'm done with that there. Alright, now let's try to see if we can get a recruit. No. Uh, you guys. Nope. Alright. Maybe once this uh, levy camp is done, we can do some hand truly here let's build uh, we can't build a cavalry core out um, let's call us an end turn I can still assign a provincial governor okay good uh, oh we gotta sign several boom boom and just and now we can have edicts here yeah. Alright, these are good. Uh, what do we need here? Religious influence. Alright. Uh, oh, yes. Definitely. Uh, let's go back to this one. Uh, we need religious influence. Okay. Now I'll give us minus five corruption so our income will increase too. Uh... Okay, yeah, we definitely need uh, the increase here. So right now it's all just religious. So before we can spread out, we must control all the religious unrest in our lands. Now that's the thing I don't like about uh, playing off with large empires from the start, because you have so much land, and usually they give you such low armies. I mean, here you get a good amount of armies, at least. But usually when you're playing as, like, uh, Octavian's Roman, a Emperor Edition in Rome 2, uh, to you usually get, like, s a lot of land and barely any armies. It's just really for your empire. Here's a bit easier, but there's a lot of political, or not political, religious unrest around here. So, uh, probably going to create an army here, just to uh, maintain the, or stop the population from revolting. And nothing important. So perhaps we could skip this. Wait, nope. I just remembered. One to build. Cavalry Corral. Uh, My lord. Hopefully, we can re recruit oh, cat cataphracts in here lord. soon. Because cataphracts, as you can see, have a charge bonus of 237. And a lot of stuff. don't seem to have that much armor, I mean. No cataphracts are covered in armor. Okay. Now. Alright. So I have just. I do that a lot where I just wander around the map just to make sure. So this isn't too hard right now. This is kinda easy. Because, other than the religious unrest, they have a really good grip on their military, that's for sure. And several other things. Like, they, they're very wealthy, so they can recruit a lot.
You take this offer, and you... I think that... When I hunt, I look for spawn. We have driven... We fire this arrow... So oh I my thought... god. Ugh, thank goodness that's over. I forgot what I was gonna say now. Alright, building's constructed. Now we can, uh... Armenian spears. These are better than pagan bands. So let's get rid of the pagan band and recruit. Uh. Alright. Six of these guys. Uh, you two can be retrained, yeah. Persian bowmen. And what about you, here? Yes, you can be retrained. Two Armenian spears, which will create you. And here. You will be upgraded. You will be replaced. Armenian spears. Uh, what else? Here. We don't have much here. We fight for you, my lord. Which isn't good. Oh, we have Armenian spears, right? So goodbye. Crew the other. Oh no, I can't afford it. Ah. Darn it. I only. All right, so we got the tier done. Uh, I guess that's not much to it, but at least we'll get into the civic area. Who are we at war with? I didn't even care for it. Alright, not war at war with anyone. However, Armenia hates us, and who else? These guys we've been trade with, so let's trade with them. Welcome, worthy friend. I trust you bring words uh... that honor both your people and ours. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, no one is likely to declare a war on us yet. However, that doesn't mean we want to carry away with us. Yeah. Oh gosh, now there's gonna be people asking. Uh, yeah, the, the diplomacy is often really getting annoying. I noticed that in Rome too, where. I was playing as Rome and constantly all these Illyrian factions would be asking for like military alliances and payments of like 7,000 talents and I was when like, I hunt, no I look way. For sport. When I speak, I look for honest answers and then- You be quiet please. Ugh, these people are so annoying. Help one offer. Constructed cavalry corral. Lots of units recruited. Alright. You can be retrained. You can be purchased. Um. To fight for our cause. Crap. We're gonna run out of money. Uh, Persian cataphracts. You guys are good. I don't know why they have such low armor. I thought they'd have a lot more armor. Oh well. Uh, Armenian spears. We need more missile units. We can't win the battle, it's just like three of them. We got a lot of cavalry. So if the enemy decides to harass us with missile units, we need to charge more cataphracts. And everyone knows what it's like to be charged but by cataphracts. Not a good thing. <laughs> Somehow the soil here is rich. I mean, I know the Tigris and Euphrates rivers are here. Uh, this is... Crap, what's it? Um, the Persian Gulf. I mean, that puts the wrong way. Alright. Yeah, this is an easier way to look at the map. From a more geographic standpoint. Yeah, for a moment I thought that was the Caspian Sea. <laughs> That's the Caspian Sea, not this. <sighs> uh, 
not much here. So Thorley is really rich. I did not expect that. I mean, mountains are easy. So he's the Pamir. You know, uh, and turn. Maybe I'll do one more turn out in the video, I'm not sure. This is my very first time uploading a video. Let me very scratch here, there. There. Come on, Western Room, what's taking so long? Do not look for an answer to my words at the bottom of a wine cup, friend. I think that uh, Okay. Awaiting Persia's bidding, my lord. I think we're gonna go distance we can get Savar and Cataphrax. For Baron Persian cataphracts. <laughs> Remember how in Rome 2 it's like really hard to get cataphracts in your army. Now it's like, um, now it's like a basic unit. I forget what they're called. I haven't played much Total War recently. They finally got Attila fixed. Um, let's upgrade the village. Just so that we get a stronger, let's get a stronger garrison. No, okay, it's just so that we get uh, more growth and all that good stuff. Because the last thing I want is just plunging into like tremendous amounts of squalor and the revolt from the people. <laughs> right now there's a lot of unrest there. Yay, it's going up. I think we got this edict in. Uh, here we don't need anything. Alright, so it looks like I managed to bring our faction back into religious sta stability. Not much else from here. Awaiting Persia's beating, my lord. Nah, I really want to get more methyl units. Ready for battle. Really don't want to lack in that. Man, I'm just getting some lag flicks. And I thought I'd be lagging because I'm recording right now. No. Do not tell me that none of this is recording. Well. Anyway. I think that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Or go ahead and press a like. Go ahead, go ahead and subscribe if you want. I, I mean, it means a lot when I see a subscriber because it means that someone actually likes my videos, and that's like a shocker for me. So, bye!